this part, we'll be talking about the thoracic region and the abdominal region of the cockroaches. We have already talked of the thoracic region when we saw the external structure. The thorax has three segments and these segments are called prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. And in these thoracic segments we find three pairs of jointed appendages or walking legs and two pairs of wings. So we will be quickly drawing the structure and the structure of the leg also. And here we are talking only of the thoracic region. So we will draw only pro, meso and metathorax. So these are the three thoracic segments. And we said from each segment we find the jointed appendages growing. That means there are three pairs of walking legs and we can call it prothoracic leg, mesothoracic leg and metathoracic leg. So let us see what is this leg structure. The leg is jointed. So they have jointed appendage. And this is the reason why they are called arthropods. Arthropoda means the organisms which have jointed appendages. So legs are also made up of various pieces. So there is a big triangular piece which is called the coxa. And from the coxa arises another big piece which is called the femur. Coxa and femur are connected by a small triangular piece which is known as trochanter. And the femur has another part which is the largest part and it is called the tibia. Tibia is the largest part and here we find stiff bristles which are there and then there are the tarsals. There are five pieces, one, two, three, four and five pieces. These are called the tarsals and the last piece has a pair of claws and there is a circular pad like structure. So this is the claw and this pad like structure is known as aureolium or aureolium. This is adhesive. That means it helps the animal to stick to a particular place. So this is how the leg is. These are the jointed, these are pieces which are joined together to form the leg. So the prothoracic, meso and metathoracic legs are like this. Now coming to the wings part. First pair arises from the mesothorax and it is formed by the extension of the skin. And we said that the outer one, the first one, it is dark, leathery and it is protected. That means it is going to cover the body and protect the structure underneath. The wing which is the metathoracic wing has a more transparent appearance and it helps in flight. When we see these wings we also see that there are certain lines which are there and these lines have these kind of branches. These branches they are known as veins but these veins are not the veins which would carry blood. So these veins basically are the cuticular thickenings which are there to support the veins. So the outer one or the anterior one is known as the tagmina or elytra. So this is the one which covers the body. So this is what we see in case of the thoracic region. 
Now we will compare what are all structures are present in the abdominal region. And the abdominal region is 10 segmented and we have already seen that these segments have four pieces. The dorsal one is sternum, the ventral is sternum and there are two lateral pleura. Amongst male and female cockroaches, the maximum differences, they lie in the abdominal region. So morphologically, we can distinguish between a male and a female cockroach if we observe the abdominal segments and the abdominal structure in detail. There is one more difference between male and female cockroaches apart from the sizes. This is the tegmina part. In male cockroach, in male cockroach, tagmina is longer than the abdomen. That means if the male cockroach is sitting, we would not see the abdomen. It will be completely covered by this first pair of the wings. Whereas in case of females, these wings are smaller. So the little part of abdominal region would be visible. So this is one difference. And the other differences which are there, they are in the abdominal region. So now we will talk about the abdominal segments and how are they different in male and female cockroaches. In the abdominal region, male and female cockroaches differ from the dorsal side as well as from the ventral side. So we'll be drawing the dorsal view first so that we are able to see the differences in the targum part that is the dorsal piece which is there. So if we draw the seventh targum which is large it actually covers the eighth and the ninth one and tenth targum is actually divided or is bifid we can say it has two flap like structures. So this is the seventh targa, the eighth and ninth, eighth and ninth are almost completely covered by the seventh one and this is the tenth. This is the view of a female cockroach when we see it from the dorsal side. Now when we see a male cockroach, the seventh one is bigger, the eighth one is slightly smaller and the ninth one is very small and then we have the tenth one. So this is seventh, this is eighth, ninth and tenth. So if we are able to see eighth targum, we know it is the male cockroach and if 8th and ninth are almost completely underneath the 7th one then that is the female cockroach. Now we will see a lateral view also. In case of lateral view what is visible is suppose this is the upper part and we are seeing the lower abdominal region. In the lower abdominal region if we find this boat shaped structure then this is the female cockroach whereas in case of males the abdomen is pretty much spindle shape. So this is the male cockroach. Now what exactly is this boat shaped structure? So if we see from the ventral side what is seen is that the seventh sternum is very large. This is seventh sternum that is we are seeing it from the ventral side and it becomes boat shape. So this is actually the seventh sternum which is visible. The other difference is again we said that the differences are morphological differences are in the abdominal region. From the 10th segment arise a segmented paired structure which are called and these are segmented and they arise from the 10th segment. So this is common for males and females 
and they are segmented. They are known as anal sarsi. So male and females both have anal sarsi. But in case of males, from the ninth segment, from the ninth segment arise unpaired structures which are called anal styles. So anal, anal styles are found only in male cockroaches, whereas anal sarsi are common in males and females. So if we see from the dorsal side, very large seventh targum covering eighth and ninth, then it is the female. From the lateral side, there is a boat shaped structure. And if we see from the ventral side, again, the seventh sternum is going to be very big and boat shaped. Now, what exactly is inside here? There are certain glands and there is a space where the male cockroach would deposit the sperms and when the eggs are released, the fertilization is going to take place here. We will talk about this structure, the internal part, when we come to the reproductive system. So externally, male and female cockroaches, they differ. That means they show morphological sexual dimorphism. The male and female sexes are different as they look. Now from the next part, we'll start with the internal structures of 